Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 15th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has come down heavily on lawyers who have been striking over demand for a permanent bench of Orissa High Court at Sambalpur and directed lawyers to resume work and failure to comply with the order would result in Supreme Court holding lawyers guilty of contempt of court. While observing that cancellation of bail cannot be ordered merely for any perceived indiscipline on the part of accused before granting bail, has held that Section 439 Subclause 2 of CRPC is envisaged only in cases where liberty of accused is going to affect the requirements of a proper trial. The court has issued notice to all high courts in a petition which seeks directions to the states to establish Gram Nyayalas as per the Gram Nyayalas Act 2008. News from the high courts, starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has observed that it cannot close its eyes to the fact that the air quality in Delhi has been oscillating between very poor to severe category and it is only because of the recent wind conditions that air quality has marginally improved in the national capital in the past few days. The High Court has asked its Registrar General to implement a 2018 verdict wherein he was requested to explore the possibility of creation of a database for district courts to ensure preservation of right of default bail of the accused. News highlights from other courts in the country. The Gujarat High Court has extended the period of interim bail granted to retired DGP R.B. Sri Kumar for a further period of 10 days pending disposal of his regular bail plea by the Sessions Court. The Punjab and Haryana High Court, while quashing a demand by the GST Department against Genpact India, has held that subcontracting for a service is not an intermediary service. The Allahabad High Court has granted bail to a man accused of placing the remains of a dead cow progeny in a temple so as to hurt the religious sentiments of the public. The Kerala High Court has appointed amicus curiae to assist the court in a batch of petitions challenging the upper age limit under the Assisted Reproductive Technology Regulation Act 2021. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.